Ja. Oh. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a little throwback video where I'm going to be looking through clips of me training in 2012. I did this before for clips from 2010 and 2011. When was that actually that I made that? Planes, planes, planes. There are always planes. Ruining my videos. December 2016. So over two years ago. So this is a little bit overdue. But anyway, yeah, let's get on with it. So the first clips I found when I was looking for videos of me training in 2012 were these clips of me trying to climb up onto my garden shed. And oh my goodness, the struggle was so real. I don't think people really appreciate how hard it is to learn to climb up. I think for some guys out there, they managed to learn to climb up where they're just purely doing it through strength but there's actually a very specific technique for climb ups and until you understand that technique if you don't have the strength you're really gonna struggle and I really struggled <laughs> for some reason I also just always wanted to kick my back leg out and I just don't really know what it was doing it's not a great look when you're trying to climb on a wall but the other thing I love about these clips is the fact that I've clearly made my sister Livy stand out in the rain and film me so mean <laughs> Okay, Katie, we need to go in now. So next up I have a few clips of me training outside my university flat. This was where I lived in my fourth year of university. And I would spend hours outside these flats on my own, just jumping back and forth between these walls. Also you can see me trying to learn how to do a pre straight into a Webster. And of course, this is 2012, so remember where possible you should always run out of shot. And again, you can see me working on my climb ups and my back leg still just wants to fly up in the air. I remember really trying to work on keeping that back leg down here, which you can see in this clip. And then I have these clips of me basically doing the spider climb between the two walls by the entrance to the flats. I'm honestly not sure why I was doing that, but I do think it probably helped me a few years later when I came to do that obstacle in Ninja Warrior. So. I was preparing myself for Ninja Warrior before I even knew Ninja Warrior was a thing. And then I've also just got some videos of me first learning to B-twist, if you can call that B-twist. It's definitely too upright to be a B-twist. Clearly hadn't grasped the concept of being horizontal. No, no, this is not horizontal, Katie. It's not B-twist, but it's not bad. I think that was one of my first attempts at learning them, so... Well done, Katie. It's not too bad. Okay, so when I was looking through all of these clips from 2012, I had loads of clips of me just solo training flips in my back garden. Literally just drilling back flips, side flips. I don't think I really bothered with front flips because I wasn't quite ready for those on flat yet. I'm not going to show you all of those clips, but I will show you me working on side flips one day just because I find it pretty funny because I get so angry when I can't land them. And yes, before anyone asks, I am in my pajamas. <laughs> So sticking on the theme of side flips, I found these clips of me trying to side flip down into the pit at the old Elephant and Castle spot. Is this Elephant and Castle? It's one of the spots in London that used to be really good for training and then it got destroyed or built on or something like that. And I just find it funny watching me struggle so much with these and even though I'm clearly bruising my heels very badly when I land, I'm still going to carry on because I need to get the shot. Know what I mean? And I also find it really funny that when I do finally land the side flip, I can't manage to vault out over the end wall. I mean, it's not good really, is it? But at least these clips do show that I was very perseverant in my training and even though I was in much pain, I still pushed through. I don't suggest you do that, by the way. If you're in pain, you should probably stop. Oh my goodness, when I found these next three clips, I laughed so much. I don't know if they're actually that funny for other people to watch, but I think they're funny for me because I know what was going on in my head at the time. So I'm going to play these clips and just try and put you into the mind of 2012 Katie. Okay, I would really like to turn vault this please. Hang on, let me just let me just check what it feels like on the other side. Yeah, um, and then from here I could probably... Oh, yeah, 180. That'll look cool. Okay, let's go for the turn vault now. I think I might hit my knee on that little bit there. Oh, maybe... Which way do I go for my turn vault? Okay, maybe I'll just climb over instead, that's probably easier. Hmm. That doesn't look as good though. No, let me get back under. 
I've got to persevere, I've got to do the turn bolt. Oh, actually, <laughs> maybe going under, maybe that looked quite good, let me try that. Um, into the 180, no, okay, that, that didn't look great. Let me try again, I'm really, I'm gonna go for this turn bolt this time, I've got this, it's just a turn bolt, Katie, you can do it. No, no, you can't do it. Okay, uh, we'll stick to the going under then. Okay. Nice. <laughs> then I just have these two really short clips of me doing an arm jump at IMAX. And the thing that made me laugh about these is the fact that I've clearly filmed it once from one angle and then thought, hmm, perhaps if I film it from a different angle, you won't see that I'm jumping off the rail and people might think I'm actually doing the climb up. So that's angle one. So this is angle two, you can't really see much of what I'm doing at all, but at least people might think I did that climb up for real. Next we go to Vauxhall Walls, rest in peace Vauxhall Walls. I literally cannot tell you how much I miss that spot, I have so many good memories from training there. Anyway, one of the times I trained there I was working on this Kong Prix, I remember this Kong Prix used to scare me so much because I couldn't really see the wall that I wanted to land on until I'd done the Kong. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to point out about this video was the fact that I used to always use these fake cuts. I know I talked about this in my throwback to 2010-2011 video, but I was still doing this in 2012. I was still failing to do something, but trying to cut so it looked like I could. So for example, in this case, I can't do the dyno up and keep holding onto the top. So what I do is I do the dyno up from one angle, slip off, but then change to another angle, fake the landing of the dyno, and then climb up out of it. I mean, who does that? But I have to say, I think my favorite fake cut that I found was this one, where the first shot, I run up to a jump and pretend to do the jump. Why, why could I not link the run to the jump? <sighs> but the stupidest thing about this is the fact that the second shot, I didn't even change angle, so I had no idea how I was expecting to cut between the two without it being really, really obvious that I was cutting between two clips. And secondly, my sister suddenly appears in the background. What was I planning on doing about her? Just paint her out in post. I can't even do that now. I also had a little giggle when I found this clip of me trying to handspring over a gate. So first of all I just test out the handspring on its own, clearly a bit of a struggle. But then I decide I want to add a run up into it. And I love that you see this moment where I think to myself, do you know what, I reckon I've got another couple of steps in me, and edge backwards up the steps to make my run up a little bit longer. Anyway, so then I go for that handspring, and of course, because it's 2012, I've got to run out of shot. Now, if you ever did watch my 2012 training video, I think it was literally called something like that, 2012 training video, I don't know, something along those lines, you would have seen there was a part in it where I was cat crawling up a rail. What you wouldn't have seen, however, was my failed attempt to vault off the end of that rail. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that bit definitely didn't make the cut. And just to finish off, I thought I'd share with you my first wall flip attempts outside of the gym. I remember being really nervous about these, so it's actually quite nice to look back and realise that now that's a trick that I don't have to think too much about, I can just get on and do. And it's just nice to realise that I have progressed since 2012, well I would hope so. Oh my goodness, that's seven years ago. Where did the time go? So thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you realise that I'm not laughing at my ability in these videos because obviously this was still pretty early on in my training. It's just quite fun for me to look back and realise how far I've come since then. For example, I've actually got one more clip of me failing to be able to just spin around this pole, which I would hope that now if I went back there I'd be able to do that quite easily. So I'm actually really glad that I filmed so much of my training in the past because it is so nice to look back and realise but I've come a long way. Oh, a nice emotional end to the video. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time, guys.